Eto turning. Blocked by Alex. Hit first time. That's going to put a change of goal. What is going on everybody and welcome to yet another team of the season player review and today we're going to be looking at the team of the season gold consistency card of Demba Ball, the former Chelsea striker who's had his first season I think at uh, Besiktas and he's had an absolute stonking one. Hasn't bagged any informs this year but that of course means that he is in the consistency team of the year, team of the season I should say. And um, what a card it is, you can see I played him in this team that you can see on the screen now. Uh, he's but it's basically a Turkish league slash Spanish league hybrid, so I wanted to try and get in there Thiago as well as Erkin, another couple of players that I managed to pack there. And um, it played really, really well, but like I said, the main focus today will be Denver Bar. You can see his base card stats, 82 pace, 82 dribbling, 87 shooting, 70 passing, 84 physical and 50 defending. Incredibly well-rounded card. I can't stress how well-rounded it is, to be honest. It's an absolutely incredible card. You can see he stands at 6 foot 2, 3 star weak foot, 3 star skill moves and got me 11 goals in 5 games. Something I should say as well, I recorded the footage for Denver Bar in two separate sessions. Unfortunately, the second session got corrupted, so we've only got the first half of goals, not all of them, unfortunately, but it's still enough for you to get an idea of what his card is all about. Unfortunately, again, the uh, player stats, the in-game stats were in the second half, so I haven't got the uh, in-game version of it, but I have, will have an annotation of them on the screen now, so you can see what his in-game stats are like. And basically, I've got them jotted down in front of me as well here on my beautiful stat pad. And um, when you look at these stats for a striker, they are absolutely incredible. He has got 84 dribbling, 88 finishing, 87 heading accuracy, 89 shot power, 86 reactions, 83 sprint speed, 92 strength which is outstanding, 88 positioning which is outstanding, 89 penalties and 84 volleys. They are all crucial stats for a striker and they are all around or above the mid 80s mark which just shows how fantastic this card is. Um, a few things I'm going to talk about now is you let watch some goals and highlights, that kind of stuff. His movement is absolutely incredible, among the best of any striker that I've used on FIFA this year. His movement, he just seems to make incredible runs. I had no instructions on him, he just wanted to get in behind. But it's not just the fact that he moved in behind, it's the way that he did it. You can see in the first couple of highlights there, him showing his brute strength. The one thing with him, if I was to say a drawback, is that his acceleration isn't the greatest, but when he gets going, he's like a train, you just can't touch him sometimes. But like I say, on his movement, it's not the fact that he goes into the space. He's clever. You can see one of my favourite goals here that I scored with him. He sort of hugs the defender, like backing into him, because he knows he's not going to beat him for raw pace. He's backing into him, then like spins away from him using his strength, and then finishes like he just finishes so well with the finesse, with the power shot, whatever you want to do. It always seems to fall in the net. His heading is fantastic. But like I say, it is such an incredible card. It's so well rounded. Like I say, you can you can run at defenders because when he gets going, he's like a train. His finishing's outstanding. His long shots are decent. You won't see any headed goals in this first half of footage, but I did score two or three headers with him as well. And like I say, I just cannot speak highly enough of this card. It's almost a contrast to um, I did a, re a review that went out last Friday on the team of the season Troy Deeney, and he's got a sort of similar set of base stats where his strength lies. So he's not the quickest, but he has got good shooting and good strength. This is the difference that the good work rates make for me. High, medium, and he made, like I say, his movement and positioning were what made this card. It was just absolutely incredible. Really, really fun to use. I should point out as well that his price bands are between uh, 170,000 and 210k. Is he worth that much? He is an absolutely exceptional striker, but the fact that he's in the Turkish League and he's pretty hard to link with as though he's a Senegalese. I don't think he's quite worth that much. Unless you've got a sort of Turkish league team with the likes of Informer M and EK in, he would be a big improve improvement if you've got a two up top formation going there. But um, due to the fact that he's in not the best league, whether he's worth 200k, I don't know. If this was in the Premiership, this card would be worth so much more, I'm telling you now. It's a shame that he had to leave Chelsea, but then again, if he'd have left Chelsea, he wouldn't have got this card, would he? Because he wouldn't have been playing, I wouldn't imagine. But overall, I'm going to give Denver Bar an 8.5 out of 10. I really, really enjoyed this card. The only negatives that I can possibly think of are his agility and his acceleration which aren't the best but they're two things that you don't particularly expect with Denver Bar. 
his strengths, his shot power, his finishing, his movement, his, just everything that you'd want from a striker. He's powerful, he's heading. There were just so, so many positives to this card. It was a real joy to use. And if you packed him, or if you want to go out, if you're thinking of sort of going out and giving him a go and you weren't sure, I would highly recommend it. Really, really enjoyed him, and I'm sure you will do as well. But that is going to bring us to the end of this Team of the Season player review. It's going to be the last one until the next, uh, the next bunch of Team of the Seasons are released as well. I don't think I'll be doing another consistency one unfortunately so look forward to when the new team of the week comes out and the new team of the season i'm not sure who it's going to be i'm guessing it's going to be potentially bundesliga maybe first but i'm not entirely sure we'll have to wait and see i'll speak to you all in tomorrow's video nevertheless need you out what do we say to that then lads bullshit